Well, Hunter, um, perfect execution on that last play after the timeout, and, and he buried the, uh, the the game winner. What can you say about that play? Man, uh, all credit to my teammates. You know, Wig made a great pass. PJ set a great screen, and then uh, it just means a lot. Coach right now going to me. Um, at that moment in the game, I just missed a couple, but uh, you know he stayed confident in me, drew up the play for me, and uh, worked out pretty well. Do you have any doubt that it was going in when you let it go? No. <laughs> <laughs> you had a couple extra seconds when the defender blew by the so the fake work, but did that relax you a little bit in those last uh, that last bit? Uh, yeah, I mean I was pretty relaxed. I just took a couple deep breaths walking out there. Um, just wanted to trust my work. And just really blessed. Uh, God blessed me to be in that moment, and I was just able to capitalize. So, were you thinking three the whole way, or was it just a product of getting him? Suddenly? Well, I kind of peeked back uh, to see where he was after the screen, and I saw there was a little bit of separation, but he was sprinting really hard. So I knew um, if I shot fake, he would definitely jump. So, you know, I just had plenty of time. Can you walk us through what it feels like, like when coach is like, "All right, this is your shot." We're what? What goes through your head? What are those emotions like in that time span from you're the guy to actually getting the ball? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, it really does. I've been here a while, and uh, for him to trust me in that moment it really means a lot. Walking out there, I just try to take a few deep breaths and just treat it like any other shot. Um, you know, I've shot thousands upon thousands of those shots, and you know, it was just a big moment. I was able to capitalize, but. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw, uh, first game of the year, my brother was actually number one on Sports Center. Uh, his first ever college game as a freshman, he hit a game winner, um, a little bit similar to that. So I didn't want him to uh, one up me. <laughs> but I probably won't be number one on Sports Center. He was, so he does have that. <laughs> Dylan, you provided a great spark there in the second half when the Hokies had the lead. Do um, you expect to play as much as you did tonight? Now, kind of surreal is it for you to step in with your brother on the bench? Uh, well, coach always tells me, you know, be confident, you know, your time's going to come. All the coaches, T-Mac, he just tell me, like, be ready. When your time's ready, be ready and play hard. Like, Chase tell me, like, every time you play hard on defense, like, that's how you're going to stay in the game. You play hard, you're going to play. PJ, you guys were coming off a loss. How important was this showing here tonight to kind of get you guys back on track? Huge. Um, you never want to lose at home. These kind of games, you got to circle and say, we, these are must wins. I mean, every game's a must win, but, like, you never want to, you know, disappoint the fans or you know, disappoint yourself or be in a situation where you know you can win. And so, coming in tonight, it's a great environment, but um, true like every other game, prepare well, go to shoot up a great, great plan, great game plan. And we should go out there and execute. Yeah. PJ, does coming off of a loss now feel different than it did two months ago when you guys were coming off a loss? Just from some of the confidence, I'm sure you guys have garnered through your ACC run. Um, it hurts more. I'll tell you what, when we lose one. It, Makes me mad. I mean, now we know, like, hey, like we shouldn't be beat. Like, you know, you go out there every night. I mean, we don't want to lose again now. Um, you know, like, you, I've, I've played on teams with great records. Uh, my freshman year, last year, struggled. I mean, like, it it feels a lot better winning, obviously. And so, whenever you have that loss in a good season, it feels like it's five times as heavy. And so, uh, you don't want to lose any of these. PJ, what did you see from Dylan just coming off the bench, playing, just playing some big minutes, and like he really gave you guys a spark on both both ends of the court. Yeah, honestly, I would take him over his brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he's a, he's a smart player right now. Um, obviously, we're, we're praying for Chase to make sure he's back. He's uh, doing everything. But, you know, it's, it's great having Dylan right there. When I heard that uh, he was coming this summer, uh, it was great to hear that. I mean, like, just, you know, having a sibling on the team, chemistry. Chase has always guided him through practice and, and uh, kind of just guided him along the way. It's, it's a great thing to watch, and it's really cool to see that kind of dynamic of an older brother who's been through – Trials and trials and trials through his career, uh, and now he's upon another one. And he's still guiding him through these uh, tough times as a freshman. It's not easy to go in there and play as a freshman. Uh, you can go in there and kind of uh, wet yourself a little bit, and Dylan's held his own. Hunter, what can you say about the the crowd here at Little John? These last two home games, kind of giving you some juice in these close ones. Yeah, man, it's been awesome. Uh, we're so thankful for them, best fans in the country. So we just hope they keep coming out and supporting us, man, because they really do make a difference. Dylan, how, how hard is it to set back to right now? I mean, it's, it's time. He, he's getting through it. He's working his best to get back on the court, and he's trying his best. So we're going to see it. Like, he's, he's, he's taking his time. Any more Andrew, questions? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. PJ, what are you thinking when you see uh, Hunter sizing up that last shot? Well, I'll tell you what. It was, that was some hoop mixtapes right there. <laughs> uh, it was some pump fake sidestep. I, I, I didn't even look at the ball. I focused on trying to find someone to box out. 
So I'm just staring at the rim, and I just, it wasn't close to the rim. It was straight through, about ripped the net. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah. And as soon as I came out of his hands, he said it felt good in the locker room. So I, I had total confidence when he was shooting any kind of ball. Right. Um, you all have been without Alex and his starter for several games now, and you know now we're getting plugged in playing without Chase now. Um, you've gotten great bench play. Have you, are you surprised at all by, by how well the bench has performed? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, those guys work hard every day. They've been working hard all season. And, uh, you know, as an older player going through that already, um, us older guys have just kind of tried to tell them, like, your time's coming. Be ready for it. And they have been, and they've performed really well. Um, so I'm just really proud of them because I, I knew they would get their opportunity and, you know, they're making the most of it, and they were a big reason we won today. So. Yeah, I think at one point you only had like one field goal in 16 minutes stretch. Just how did y'all kind of stay together during that time when, when you were struggling so much on offense? What stretch was that? <laughs> well, I didn't even know that. <laughs> right. the first half. Oh, uh, okay. uh, that actually made sense. Yeah, we weren't playing well on offense. Jeez, uh, 16 minutes. That ain't too good right there. Uh, but, you know, I mean, the, the biggest thing is whenever, whenever we talked about the in the in the locker room, whenever your offense is kind of struggling, you can't let it fall away on defense. It's, it's hard to keep that intensity on the, on the other side of the floor. But both sides win games, and defense. I mean, when you're getting stops, it's going to lead to offense. Obviously, we we had um, turned them over pretty a bit in the second half, and um, that led to some easy buckets, and that's what really got us rolling. So it's um, you just got, you can't lose your intensity on the other end of the floor. Coach Owen said that you're a lot better than your old man. What's your relationship like with him? <laughs> So well, I can't shoot as good as an old man. Uh, yeah, he uh, he had a clip, but uh, yeah, he that's a that's that's really cool playing against Coach Young. Uh, known him my entire life. Um, grew up going to the camps at Walford, um, going to all those games. I was in the old arena before Jerry Richardson Arena. Uh, he, he, great guy. I know a lot of their staff too that was at Walford. It's um, I can't see enough good, enough good things about that man. But uh, it's, it's it's really cool playing against him. Anything else for these guys? Thank you. Thank you guys.